Welcome to Rex Finds TV. I'm Angeli Walker. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, April 4th, 2022. I hope you enjoyed your fabulous weekend. Now, let's take a relaxing brain break to start off this amazing week. For today's brain break and SEL technique, we'll be showing you a little skit representing social media and cyberbullying. What? Hey, did you see what someone posted about you? Wait, someone posted something about me? Yeah, oh, look. who would think that of me? Do you know who posted it? I don't know. The account is anonymous. Oh, should we report it to the teacher? No, I don't think so, because you don't want to make this into a big deal, right? It's just a little tweet. Yeah, I guess. Okay, but I gotta go. See you later, man. As you can see, someone made a mean tweet about Alex on social media, and Destiny didn't want to do anything to help fix the situation, and rather let it be. Destiny was wrong and should have helped her friend and reported the tweet. By the way, this is called cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is the use of electronic communication to bully a person, and bullying makes a person feel bad about themselves and creates low self-esteem. So let's see if someone else can help Alex. Hey, look what someone posted about you. What? Someone posted something about me? Yeah, look. Well, how could someone think that about me? Who posted this? Well, it's unknown, but if you want, we can report it. Oh, but why? Because the person who posted this is a bully. And if we report it, then we'll be taking one step towards putting a stop to bullying. And plus, what they said about you is wrong. I think you're very unique and nice. Yeah, thanks. Okay, that's a good idea. Let's tell Mr. Winston. Okay, yeah. In the end, we can see that Sonia handled the situation better than Destiny. As we said before, cyberbullying is a type of bullying communicated online. If you ever come across a post bullying another person, the right thing to do is to report the post and tell an adult. Also, you shouldn't spread a cyberbullying post. And when you see it, just report it. So join us next time for our next brain break and SL technique. Now, let's go to word of the day. Hey David, where were you? You missed our first two classes. Yeah, I'm sorry. My morning's been very catastrophic. What happened? Why was it a disaster? Well, I was testing my volcano project and it ended up being a huge mess. Oh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It just took me forever to clean it up and get to school. I'm sorry your morning was such a catastrophe, but hope you can cheer up. See, See you tomorrow, tomorrow on Word of the Day. Now, let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thanks, Angeli. Sports fans, our boys' baseball team had their second game last Thursday. They lost with a score of 14 to 10, but they had a great improvement from last time and I'm certain we can win a couple games. Also, girls flag football ended in forfeit due to a lack of referees. In other news, welcome back to Sports Equipment Origins. The shot put is a track and field event that we usually see every four years or so at the Olympics. The first evidence of this sport dates back to the first century where men would throw weights like a hammer to show off their strength. It involves pushing rather than throwing a heavy spherical ball as far as possible. The ball, known as the shot, is made of smooth solid iron or brass and may have a latex covering on the outside to assist competitors with their grip. Any metal not softer than brass is an acceptable shot put material. For men's competition, the shot weighs a whopping 16 pounds. Now let's go to Sonia to see what's cooking. Thank you, Scott! Today's lunch is cheese pizza, potato wedges, diced peaches, and your choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit! Let's go back to Angeli. Thanks, Sonia. That sounds delicious. Great news, Patriots. Our school is offering a cheerleading team for 2022 to 2023 school year. This is only for 4th to 7th graders. 
Make sure to scan the QR code and turn in your application by April 8th. Let's go, Patriots. Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Scholars, the hero celebration is today. The fantastic party is for the top hero point earners in quarter three. It's invite only, so if you got one, make sure to go. Yearbooks are now on sale. It's $30 until April 8th, and after April 8th, the prices will rise to $35. So get yours while you can. It's only sold on myschoolbooks.com. Scholars, FSA testing begins tomorrow. The writing FSA for 4th to 6th grade and the ELA FSA for 3rd grade is tomorrow. Look at the flyer to see when it's your turn to test. Get to bed early, good luck, and don't forget your test taking strategies. Now, let's see what the weather is going to be like today with Joshua. I hope it's not cloudy. Thank you, Angeli. Hey, Patriots. Today will be experiencing a nice average of 83 degrees Fahrenheit with shining skies. Looks like we are starting a nice rainy streak. In other weather news, the farthest star from Earth was discovered and named Arendelle. The light from the star took 12.9 billion years to reach Earth. Arendelle is estimated to be 50 times the sun's mass. The star is millions of times brighter than the light and radiation the sun gives off. I guess you could say it shines bright like a star. Let's go to Destiny and Chanel for Hot Topic. Hey Patriots! Welcome to Hot Topic! I'm Destiny. And I'm Chanel. And here's what's trending this week. Today is a beneficial holiday. It's National Vitamin C Day. A great benefit of Vitamin C is it helps you grow as tall as a famous athlete, like Shaquille O'Neal, Anthony Davis, and Giannis Antetokounmpo. Maybe I'll have some oranges today. MLB The Show 22 will be released tomorrow. MLB is a baseball game based on Major League Baseball. Its new features will include cross-platform play. It will definitely be a home run. The new 2022 Rolex models are yet to come out. The new GMT Master 2 is Rolex's first left-handed watch. The Rolex symbol, the date display, and the Cyclops magnifier are all on the left. Maybe one day I could afford that ice. Even though the World Cup is until fall of 22, it has everyone on their toes. The World Cup will start November 21st and end in early December. It will feature some amazing soccer players. Now is the best time to get tickets. That's it, Patriots. Now let's go to volunteer for the birthdays. Thank you, Destiny and Chanel. Today's birthday boys and girls are Riviesta Rincon, Miguel Pineda, Ethan Nieves, and Ariana Danis. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Angeli. Thank you, Valencia. And I wish you happy birthday, Patriots. Scholars, here are your Pat's expectations. They represent present yourself positively, act kind towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for last week's trivia winners. Congrats to Miss Silvera, Miss Onley, and Miss Chang. You all got the correct answer to Friday's trivia question, which was, how much caffeine needs to be taken out of coffee for it to be described as decaffeinated? The correct answer is at least 97%. Teachers and scholars, here is today's trivia question. John Mayer wrote a song about which law of physics? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a marvelous Monday. And don't forget, this year we're all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day.